Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Anton Will Bay. And I know everybody's finding these things, but I finally found, I finally found a G.I. Joe Snake Eyes in my Walmart. I picked him up a couple of days ago. Kind of got busy. I, If you watched my uh, my comic videos, you realize, you know, I, this weekend I bought a massive comic book collection. Massive comic book uh, supply, inventory. And so I didn't get around to doing this guy, but I'm going to do him right now. Uh, you've probably seen uh, reviews on these things if you're at all interested in them. But by golly, it's Snake Eyes. I'm going to crack him open. And I like that sword. I do feel like we should have a wolf with this. But I guess we'll live without a wolf for now. That's kind of sad, but we'll do it. All right. So, due to his original origin story of being the cheapest made action figure in the first line to save money on the others, he has almost no deco. He's just got a little bit of deco, just a couple of splashes of silver paint, a little red on the buckle, and that's really all he needs because really he should just be flat like black. That's the whole point of this guy. And look at his uh, equipment here. I never really pictured him as a big backpack guy. He's got one if you want it. Um, I definitely picture him as a sword in sheath guy. Definitely. There you go. Because why? I don't picture him eating a sandwich or unpacking his luggage or anything like that. So I don't think he needs the knapsack on the back. But he's got it if he needs it. You've got a holster on the leg. And oh my Jesus. It. It fits in there, and I love that. Anytime you give me a holster, let me put the weapons in it, that just fills me with happiness, because that was, as a young child, that was a pet peeve, was, you know, you give me these accessories, and you don't give me any way to, for the guy to carry it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to give this knife a pass, because it doesn't really fit in there that great. That's kind of sad. I've tried it both ways. Um, but anyway, that's what you've got going on with him. I'm happy about that. Now, one thing that I am not excited about with this figure line is the wobbliness of them and the whole way that the ball joints at the hip work. They do this. They pop up and down on an arm that swings out. I don't know why this bothers me, but I really don't like it. Um, it makes the figures, in my opinion, harder to really pose and stand, and it gives you a point of articulation that I don't feel it needs and um, you can have too much articulation just look at uh, just look at Toy Biz's Marvel Legends other than that everything on these is good other than my uh, dislike of their ball joint stuff and their hip I gotta hate that I fucking hate that anyway he's got double jointed knees and Cuts at the thighs and everything else you'd ever imagine you'd want with this thing. Um, he also has butterfly hinges at the shoulder, which is, of course, great. And just an astro... No, oh, my God. Look at that ab crunch. Okay, my favorite point of articulation in, in any figure, if you got it, is the ab crunch. Because you can get these, like, wicked dynamic Spider-Man poses and crouching poses and leaping poses or backflip poses or being exploded and flying through the air poses whatever you get my idea and it's all on this ab this like amazing ab crunch so that is a huge deal for me and this one is probably that one's just crazy anyway that's what i would expect a super cool black ninja outfit guy to have so anyway i am super happy with that um, i've heard some people whine that they don't like the new helmet i don't care I think it looks fine. I think it looks fine. Anyway, there's a kajillion reviews about this guy, so I'm not going to drone on. What I am going to do is I'm going to throw a gun in his hand. I'm going to throw this sword on his back. And I'm going to try and have him pose here. And this is why I don't like... Okay. Maybe my, my beloved ab crunch is kind of making it difficult as well. Um, he just is a little bit wobbly, and I've noticed that, especially with my Scarlet, is they don't really want to stand that great. But you know what? He just stood just fine, and now you can see all the dirt in my in my little screen here. Anyway, 
That's G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes. Um, obviously, if you see this guy, you're going to want to buy it um, because he's probably not going to be on the shelf long. He's going to be a highly desirable figure. And I was kind of on the fence of it when it first came out, but man, then you see it on the shelf and you're like, this is my one chance. I need to take it now. I need to take this. I need to get this figure now or I'll never see it again. Anyway, that's what I did. That's why I got it. And that's my story. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.